journey through the magical stories of Frozen 2, Aladdin, and more at Disney on Ice presents Magic in the Stars. Playing the L.A. area December 12th through January 5th. Tickets on sale now. Visit DisneyOnIce.com today. Now at 8, new video captures a dangerous encounter on the 110 freeway. The wrong way driver moment you have to see. Good morning, everyone, from Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson. It is game day. LA Galaxy fans here this morning. Woo! Tailgating, we're ready to go. Guess what? It's the road to the sixth MLS Cup title against the New York Red Bulls. But it's East Coast versus Best Coast. Best Coast. Best Coast. We're live with a preview next. That is awesome. Fans out bright and early. It's also a big day for college sports fans. A full slate of college championship games will decide what the first ever 12-team playoff looks like. And we are going to see above average temperatures inland today. Lots of clear skies, unless, of course, you're in Orange County. We'll talk about the rest of your forecast for today and the weekend coming up. Well, 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 good morning. Here we go. Happy Saturday. Welcome to the KTLA Morning News at 8 a.m. I'm very excited. Carlos Ferreira live out there to talk LA Galaxy with yes. the fans. Yes. People who are pumped up for the big game in Carson going down at 1 p.m. We'll talk about it. I'm Megan Tellis. And I'm Laura Lister. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, interesting to see people already out there at 8 in the morning. The game is until Not 1. Shocked, right? So these are some fun fans, I would say, Casey. Yeah, absolutely. A great day for the game as well. As We're going to have sunny skies and above average temperatures. Gorgeous start to the day, though. Foggy just for Orange County. That will clear, and we'll all see sunshine by this afternoon. 61 right now at LAX. It's 58 in Oxnard, 52 in Santa Ana, 23 degrees in Big Bear. And here's what we're expecting for highs today. 82 for Palm Springs, 75 in Long Beach, 80 for Van Nuys, 70 for Palmdale. Sunny and 55 today in Big Bear. Ladies, back to you. Casey, thank you. Two people now recovering after an ambulance overturns and crashes on the 10 freeway in Rancho Park. It happened near the Overland on-ramp around 1.45 this morning. Two lanes were closed for about 30 minutes while crews flipped the ambulance back over and towed it. Witnesses say two people were hurt, but it's not known if they were transported for their injuries. A wrong way driver leading CHP officers on pursuit overnight. It happened around 12.30 a.m. near the area of the 105 and 110 freeways. The driver heading north in the southbound lanes of the 110 before having their tires spiked. This was near the Slauson exit. A man was taken into custody without incident. It's unclear at this hour what led to this pursuit. We'll keep you updated. Today's slate of football games is as important as it gets for fans of the NCAA. Oh yeah, college football's first ever 12-team playoff bracket is nearly set. But first, we need to get through each conference's championship game. So yesterday, we saw Boise State beat UNLV in the Mountain West Championship, solidifying their spot in the playoffs. Today, Iowa State plays Arizona State at 9. Georgia plays Texas at 1. Then at 5, Penn State takes on Oregon. Clemson will play SMU. These will be the last games before the playoff bracket is set in stone and then released tomorrow at 9 a.m. Exciting times. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh-oh. Oh, oh we do have our scarf. I was going to say, we're without our scarf. No, we've no, got no. it. Which, Cue the, the way, scarf. Floor director. Cue the music. Amber. We even know the cheer. This is Amber's. Yes. And so we're getting in on it. We've had a lot of cool sports moments. Here's another uh, one. The Galaxy yes. will face the New York Red Bulls this afternoon in the MLS Cup Final. KTLA's number one Galaxy fan. Our very own yeah. Carlos Herrera. Come on, take it away. Who do we have behind us? Lots of fans. Let's do it. Look, gates just opened for the parking lot a few minutes ago, but it's a party here already. Yeah, yeah. party. Folks from all across our area, you're making some. I'm making some eggs. All right. I had bacon and sausage Ooh, earlier. Smells delicious. delicious. This smells and looks amazing, too. What are you making? Pancakes. Pancakes. What time did you guys get here? Pupusas. Seven. You're making pupusas. Salvadoran pupusas. The dish. This is amazing. We got the masa. We got all the ingredients. Yeah, and we got folks from Orange County here. Lancaster, Long Beach. You're called the Jordans Group. Yes, we're Jordan's group. Yeah. Coming from, from all over the area, this is not your first MLS Cup final. No, it's not. This is my second. 
and you're thrilled about it. I am very ecstatic about it. We're gonna, we're, it's gonna be bye bye New Jersey. Bye bye. You you waited ten years. Yes. For this. Yes. And you're excited. Very excited. You know, the East Coast tends to call itself the best coast, but we're the best coast. We're the best. I think the West so too. Coast is the best coast. Best coast is the. The West Coast is the best coast. Yeah. yeah. Now, clearly. The underdogs here are the New York Red Bulls, right? Oh, absolutely. If the Yankees lost, then the Red Bulls are going to lose for this, sure. This is the Galaxy's <laughs> answer, right, right, to the World Series as well. I mean, what more can we ask for? Ten years, we're going to take it. Yeah, what is your prediction for the score? I know the Galaxy's going to win, but... So, I think 3-1. 3-1. What Where about... my four 2014 oh, we love replica it. ring? Let me show that. That's amazing. And right. then you're going to buy the 2024 one. Yes, yes, yes. You know, yesterday I was at the uh, MLS Cup trophy display uh, down at the stadium, and they had the five cups. But I heard the staff this morning, they're making room for 2024. Six cups, man. The first to six. Yeah, I can't wait till that jersey comes we're out. We're the yeah. winningest club in uh, MLS. We love that. Now, look, ladies. It's only, what, what is it, 8 a.m.? And look. Barely. Barely. Yeah. I told you I was in, I was invited to a few parties. This is the first stop for me because I'm an LA Galaxy fan, and LA, LA Galaxy fans love to party. And we also like to chant because we back our group, we back our team. We ready to chant? Yeah. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Ready? 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 Good job, Carlos. Nice. We've been practicing the one you taught us. LA. Okay, now they're practicing the other one. You... Yeah, okay, you want us to kick it off? LA Galaxy. LA Galaxy. We LA Galaxy. Are we? Did he make that up? Or is that... No, Galaxy. it's he said it's the chance that they do. I love do. it. Kick off. Just a few hours away. Let's go. Let's go, Carlos. Thank you so much. How fun. We're getting started early. Oh, uh, it is a fun day, though. Weather's going to be great, though. Sunshine outside today, so hat, sunscreen kind of day. And temperatures above average inland once again. So this is what we're looking at right now. Again, clear skies for everyone, with the exception of that patch in Orange County where we're seeing boggy conditions. 56 right now in Santa Monica, 33 in Lancaster, 50 in Fullerton, 55 for Riverside, 23. Still pretty chilly right now in Big Bear. And the difference between this time yesterday, most of us seeing temperatures that are cool. Uh, afternoon high temperatures again. We will be warm away from the coast again today. Moderate air quality for most. There's still a handful of green on there, especially for the Ventura County area. That's good. Winds have already been pretty gusty for those interior spots. Anywhere that we see yellow, those are winds uh, gust from 20, 25 miles an hour. That takes us through the afternoon. Winds die down overnight. And then tomorrow, desert and mountains. You guys will see some stronger gusts as we head into Sunday afternoon. And then again, we do have those Santa Anas picking up for the first part of next week, which will give us some elevated fire danger, and we'll keep talking about that. So notice how clear skies for everyone, just this little patch of fog for Orange County, Huntington Beach right now, that does clear by later this morning.